as per our contract. It's full of life here. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet, it flows with energy inside. Yeah! And there's so many plants. It's so pretty! Sir Ramon. W huh? Me? <laughs> Do you see another Ramon here? Are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? Interpret it however you want, but there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from the Scarlet King civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. <sighs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Stabilize! Whirling snow! Boring! Useless! Solidify! I will have order! Take flight! Born of ice and frost! Kami Sato out! Sumetsu!
That's a sight to see. The Scarlet King's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Sure are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of the Scarlet King. Wait. What's that? A load of flowers. And it looks like there's something among them. Oh, these are Scarlet King runes. They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient Scarlet King script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. He's not serious, right? There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. Hmm. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device for- <laughs> Isn't sharing knowledge again- Yes. You'll understand after watching it. Civilization is born of knowledge. But so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances. 
but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. What was that? The priest's memories. No. No! Impossible! Greater Lord Rukadevata. So the former Dendro Archon and the Scarlet King were never enemies at all. But this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... Was that...? You might be distrustful of the... You've just witnessed his priest's lap. I've... The surviving followers of the Scarlet King all gathered in Aruville. The Scarlet King's death. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back. You were blinded by your prejudice. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself, how could I ever be? Raman, that's give it a rest. You're starting to make a f Deep my Aramites and I. Hey, how you- uh, I should probably go. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I, but please. Uh, it's not gonna- Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. When would be a good time for us- Tomorrow, and I'll- we You seem to finally understand- Yes. That must have been rough, but he seems to have figured things out- <sighs> Raman's no fool. Being the it's too bad he was held back by his belief in the Scarlet King. The outcome, at least, is favorable. We should get going, too. Let's head back. Have a... Hmm. Sino, we're leaving! Stop yelling. <laughs>